Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So I am on my way to like a chef event. I don't know if you've heard of the book Confessions of a Young Black Chef, but Chef Kwame, and I'm not even gonna pretend that I know how to pronounce his last name, um, is having an event there tonight hosted by Chef Tiffany Derry, which if you follow any kind of thing on the chef world, you may be familiar with her too. So I bought a ticket. I have my book, Confessions of a Young Black Chef. I haven't read it yet, but um, I want to have him sign it. Like I bought a ticket. I think you get dinner. It's like a meet and greet and you get a copy of his cookbook. So the first book was a memoir and this is a cookbook. So I'm headed that way. I'm just like on time. Like I should get there right as the event starts. So hopefully I can take you along with me to a little mini vlog if I can. Um, if not, y'all gonna get these Instagram stories as a vlog. <laughs> and I hope I'm looking at the camera because I'm vlogging on my phone. So, all right, y'all. Okay, I just pulled up. I'm always feeling like I have to put my shoes on. Like, I feel like in this vlog, this vlog and in the last vlog, I have to put my shoes on because I don't be driving in heels. Like, I'm just, I'm past that phase of life. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. And I'm not even wearing a super tall heel. Like, it's that tall. So. Let me put my shoes on. And, um. Listen. I thought I was going to get a better parking spot. But when I pulled up, this couple was getting into their trucks. So I was like, ooh, I'm about to get a parking spot. They was literally there sitting there blazing if you catch my drift like and <laughs> that is not legal here in Texas so that part all right let me I'm gonna stop this because it'd be taking me a minute my curls have fallen a little bit I did not comb them out because I knew would it be in 97 degrees outside literally like I'm not exaggerating it's actually like 97 degrees here today um I knew that they would fall on their own so this is the shoe I'm wearing. I'm wearing the pink dress from my Magnolia haul. Because I, I don't really know what the attire is. So I read, I'm always the person. I'd rather be overdressed than underdressed. So that's what we're doing. Okay. The wind. Okay. There are head notes, there are anecdotes, there are stories, there's history in this book that really show why these dishes have stood the test of time. I like to make a joke like, there's no Jamaican, she's bracing herself. <laughs> 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 
there, you know, there's no like in, in the in the Jamaican uh, Museum of History. There's no person up there that's like I'm the founder of Curry Goat, right? <laughs> there's there's it's snapshots in time, and timeless recipes are snapshots in time, and that's what I'm doing with this book. So thank you all so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. I want to hear Party Up by DMX next. <laughs> sweated out my whole soup press. Why does that keep happening? It was so hot in there, but I had a great time. Food was delicious. Always gonna support, support Chef Tiffany Dairy. Did not know her and Chef Kwame was cousins. Listen, so it runs in the family. Also got to catch up with one of my favorite food bloggers um, and her husband who is a chef. And we got to talk business. You know how I do. And so, um, just talking to them about, you know, their culinary point of view and all of that kind of stuff. But anyway, I had an amazing time. I'm back home. I got my books signed. I got the new cookbook and then I got his memoir signed. So 